All right, Kim and I just got back from our high school. I had a nice little event there. And I checked Twitter and about six, ten people said, Herman, we need your opinion on Josh Williams parking his Xfinity car on the front straightaway. So Josh got into a little wreck and he had some bear bonds, some big you know, tape flying off the car. So NASCAR said, uh, you need to park your car. Josh gets pissed. He parks it on the front straightaway, waves to all the fan, <laughs> waves to all the fans. It's really cool. So everybody wants to know uh, my opinion because NASCAR said, you're coming to the trailer. He's going to be fine. He's going to be suspended, all that. So here's what happened to me. Uh, Phoenix, I'm going down the back straightaway. Me and John Andretti get together. Uh, my right front and his left rear as we go into three, little dinger, you know, just dings the fender up. Well, it starts smoking a little bit in the corners. NASCAR starts black flagging me, pissing me off. I said, I'm not, I'm not pitting. It's going to ruin my race. So um, I finally pit about 10 laps later, and um, now I'm in trouble. The race is over. My crew member comes. I'm getting out of the car. He says, NASCAR wants to see you at the trailer. I look back. I'm young. I'm smart ass. I said, you tell NASCAR you never saw me. <laughs> I'm the man. Well, come to find out, about $10,000 later when Mike Helton got done talking to me, uh, Mike said, you know what? Another day later, he says, we thought about this. He says, uh, that was a little excessive. We're going we're gonna to charge you $7,500. So Kenny Wallace Racing, I'm writing this check for $7,500 for not listening to NASCAR. Mike Helton said to me, when we told Dale Earnhardt Sr. at Rockingham to pit because he had loose lug nuts, what'd he do? I said, he pitted. So Mike Helton said, I don't want to be the one to ruin your career. No matter what you think, it's NASCAR's ball. You got to play by it. I learned a $7,500 lesson.